What are the implications of living with a smart device that is voice controlled and always on? I'm referring to the Amazon Echo device, also known as Amazon Alexa. I was thinking about doing a video on Amazon Echo a while back, but it turns out the United Kingdom did not receive the device until well, quite a while after it had been out in the United States. In fact, I did not hear about it until one of the episodes on Mr. Robot. Alexa, when is the end of the world? Unless it collides with a very large rock or a future technology goes very wrong indeed, Earth is most likely to be destroyed when the sun swells into a red giant in several billion years' time. At the moment, Amazon are fighting a court case against a search warrant to release data that the Amazon Echo device of a, let's say, potential murderer may or may not have heard. But first off, let's get a bit of background on the case. The Arkansas police are seeking data from Amazon belonging to a suspect in a murder inquiry. The gadget belongs to James Andrew Bates, who is accused of strangling his friend Victor Collins, who was found dead at the suspect's home in November 2015, after an evening of drinking. Police are now looking for more evidence against the 31-year-old, and I believe the Echo may hold some clues. So Amazon has turned over the suspect's account information and purchase history, but has so far refused to hand over further information from the Echo device. Of course, murder is one of the worst crimes one human can commit to another. And many people would be saying, why don't Amazon just hand over the data? The trouble is, if Amazon hand over data in regards to this murder case, then it opens up the floodgates for police to inquire about anything and everything. And for a device that is always on and always listening, albeit that it's waiting for its wake word, Alexa. Now the thing is, America is not a police state. You had a democratic vote. Now, people might be complaining that their candidate didn't win, but this is it. You had a democratic vote. You were not given one option, or you didn't have, say, two options, but if you chose the other guy, you were going to end up in jail. No. It's a democracy. There is freedom of speech, and this is what Amazon are trying to push back against in getting the case quashed at the courts. Once the Echo device detects the wake word, the Alexa voice service endeavours to respond to the ensuing voice communications detected in the user's home. Accordingly, searching Alexa's recordings is not the same as searching a drawer, a pocket, or a glove compartment. Like cell phones, such modern smart electronic devices contain a multitude of data that can reveal much more in combination than any isolated record, allowing those with access to it to reconstruct the sum of the individual's private life. The recordings stored by Amazon for a subscriber's Echo device will usually be both the user's speech in the form of a request for information from Alexa and a transcript or depiction of the Alexa voice service response conveying the information it determines would be the most responsive to the user's query. Both types of information are protected under the First Amendment. It is well established that the First Amendment protects not only individuals' rights to speech, but also his or her rights to receive information and ideas. The right of freedom of speech and press includes not only the right to utter or to print, but the right to distribute, the right to receive, the right to read, and freedom of inquiry. At the heart of the First Amendment protection is the right to browse and purchase expressive materials anonymously without fear of government discovery. For this reason, courts have recognised that government demands for records of an individual's request for and purchases of expressive material implicate First Amendment concerns. In addition to recordings for user requests for information, Alexa's responsives are also protected by the First Amendment. As previously stated, the responses may contain expressive materials such as a podcast, an audiobook, or music requested by the user. Second, the response itself constitutes Amazon's First Amendment protected speech. In a similar context, courts have recognised that the First Amendment protects as speech the results produced by an internet search engine. Alexa's decision about what to include in its response, like the rankings of search results, is constitutionally protected opinion.
that is entitled to full constitutional protection. Well, that's the reasons that Amazon are fighting back against the search warrant to release data in this case of a potential murder. And is it right that Amazon should withhold any information to this case? Well, of course, most people will say, no, it's not right, and Amazon just should hand over the data to the police. But the trouble is it opens the floodgates to any further cases. Amazon have to fight back now, otherwise their reputation as protecting users' data will be ruined. Now, it is possible to see the recordings through the mobile phone, but in this case, the police were unable to unlock the suspect's phone. So that kind of ruled that out, and hence why they had to go to Amazon themselves. I wonder how much data Amazon actually collect through the Echo device. I know it's a different world with Google. I mean, I could say right now, OK Google, what is one plus one? And get absolutely no response because my phone is off. But if I turn it on and say, OK Google, what is one plus one? The answer is two. It responds. But if that was an Amazon Echo device in the room, it would have responded immediately, unless the device was muted. So I think we'll have to see how this case progresses, but honestly, if Amazon lose, then it really does open the floodgates. I know this is going to get a bit theoretical now, but what happens if Amazon do lose, and data could just be handed over to the police at not necessarily just for a warrant, just because they want to know more information about you. Could the information be passed over to any other agencies or any other companies? What if you're talking about how many cigarettes you smoke in a day or how many drinks you're having? Or does it listen out to how many burgers you've eaten and does that then affect your health insurance? Okay, I know that's getting a bit tinfoil hat related, but let's focus more on what the police could ask for. Could they ask for something of a misdemeanour, or could they be going after crimes of thought? I think that I don't really like the current president and that he should be, uh, I don't know, fill in the rest of that, and would the police then come after you and arrest you for the crime of thinking about something? I don't like the idea of where this could head, and you could say, well, that's just ridiculous. It is it's too far. It's never going to happen. But you're at this early point where the world could take one path, or a completely different path. I think that we need to wait and see what happens with this case. If Amazon gets the warrant overturned and quashed, then no need to worry. But if they don't, perhaps that's consideration to think, yeah, that Amazon Echo device. Do I really want that around? Do I want it listening all the time? Should I turn it off, leave it muted, or get rid of it entirely? I do worry about these smart devices and what they can hear, the data they're collecting, and what could be done with that data. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.